Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, I know I didn't have my normal videos I usually have on Monday, and um, I've had a lot of catching up to today. It's my first day off, other than Christmas Day, which I was, you know, gone tied up most of the day. The first day I've had just to myself. And so, I've worked like so many days in a row now, and I had to work all weekend. And so, yeah. But I wanted to share a few little Christmas gifts that I received. Um, and also want to come up, you know, share some changes and stuff that's going to be happening with my channel. And some things that are staying the same. And um, just kind of sharing my thoughts um, with everything going on. So as far as my channel goes... I don't know whether I want to keep Monday morning coffee going and and that's kind of a little bit sad for me because I have done that since my YouTube channel really was created almost. I was still living in my home and I've been here five years so it's been probably about seven or eight years that I've done Monday morning coffee. And it started out um, as... Uh, a devotional for the week and what I had planned on doing for the week and it's just really near and dear to my heart but I don't know that um, it's something that you guys want to see so I'm really depending on your answers on whether I decide to carry on with that or not so if you're new to my channel welcome and I'm sorry I'm doing this because you don't have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> But on Mondays, I usually announce what's coming up for the week. Sometimes it's hit or miss because um, I am now working and my schedule's always off, you know, kilter. My days are never the same because I'm working in retail. And um, so Monday morning coffee is just a way for me to say what's coming up. Sometimes I say things and it don't happen, but, you know, it's just because something else happened in my life or whatever. But I really need... Um, to know if that's something that you want me to continue or not. One thing that won't change are my devotionals. I had thought about that too, um, but I'm not getting rid of that portion of my channel. Didn't have one this morning, but I will have one for tomorrow morning. And then, um, yeah, so, I'm not going to be having um, set schedule, I think, anywhere except on Thursday nights with Thursday Night Live. I will uh, continue to do those. Now, I am going to be continuing on with our color combo challenge, even though Gareth won't be joining us now, and I'm so sad about that, but I understand his reasonings. He will only be active on YouTube in the fall and through Christmas, um, with occasional live and getting on and stuff, um, and hopefully I can talk him into occasionally joining us on color combo challenge. Um, but we will be continuing on. It will be with me and Angie and Tony from Kate's Crafty Cottage. And if you would like to join us, join our little group for our Color Combo Challenge um, this coming year, please let me know down in the description box. No, not, no, no, take that back. In the comments section, let me know if you would like to join us. We post our videos on the first Wednesday of every month. Now, there will not be one for January because we are taking the month of January off from that. So, um, but starting in February, we'll have our color combo challenge and we'll be getting the colors together for the year in the next coming weeks. Also, I will be continuing Smash That Small Paper Pad collab with Miss Deb Houck from Deb's Crafty Cottage. And, um... So I'm really happy to continue that because I still have papers and stuff that I need to get rid of or use. Not necessarily get rid of, but use. So what I've decided is, unless it's something that I create for myself um, during these projects and stuff, I'm going to be um, giving away the projects that I create. And um, all you have to do is pay for shipping. I am not able to pay for all the shipping and stuff for that. So if... Um, if you want to enter my contest and stuff, just know if you win, you have to pay for shipping to go to get it there. And let's see what else. 
Um, I am going to be continuing my keto living on Fridays. Hopefully that will restart really soon. I'm also going to be adding some new elements to my channel. Um, I have been collecting pictures and different things all along of my grandchildren. And I wanted to do a book for them. Not so much a baby book like first month, second month, third month or whatever. But it's called Me, Ma, and Me. And um, I'm doing one for my grandson and one for my granddaughter. And so I'll be sharing layouts in those books for you. Um, I'm also going to be concentrating more on um, different journals and things like that. And also um, cards and, you know, um, I have a lot of interests. And so, and I do a lot of different kind of crafting. And I promise you, I have a video coming out tomorrow of the Lego table that I built. I completely forgot about posting that. But that'll come out tomorrow. <clears throat> and then um, on Wednesday, um, I hope to have uh, my first project for December's kit from Scrapbooking with Me. And um, it's a lovely winter paper and I just can't wait to use it in some things. And so, um, if you didn't see that video of me unboxing, go check it out. I'll try to remember to link it below. And let's see. So, that's about it probably for this week. Um, like I said, um, Thursday night. I know Thursday is New Year's Eve. So, please let me know if you all have plans and don't want to do Thursday live. We can wait till the first, um... Uh, Thursday and January to start back with Thursday Live. Just let me know in the comments section. Um, and let me know what you like and what you don't like about the channel. What do you like to see? What kind of projects you want to see? Um, it's really important to me because um, probably Thursday I will come out with a new video of a format for my channel. And I'm really working hard to formulate some things. I really would like to get my views up. I have over 2,300 something subscribers, but I get five or six views on my videos, some, um, some of them. And I really am trying hard to grow my channel. And I don't really, you know, I know this is going to sound weird. Um, I'd like to have more subscribers, but I would like to have more subscribers that watch my videos. So if you've not been watching my videos, um, please tell me why and what you would like to see. All right, so enough of that. So now I want to share with you what I got for Christmas. So I don't have a real big immediate family anymore. It's just my brother and my sister-in-law, my two nieces, my daughter and her husband, and my grandchildren. And then my cousin and his wife and, uh, well, she's not really my niece or my daughter, but I call her that, and um, her two children. So, um... My cousin and um, my daughter, other daughter, um, they went and got me some essentials this year. They stocked me up with toilet paper and paper towels because they said they think that that's going to be uh, a really hot commodity. And they're right because I've been working in grocery retail now for a little over a month and we are running out of that stuff again. So they stocked me up and I won't have to buy any toilet paper or paper towels probably for six months. So that was their gift to me. And then my niece, one of my nieces made me some chocolate covered pretzels and chocolate covered peanuts. And even though I'm not supposed to eat those things, I have been eating them. <laughs> then my daughter um, went on a girl's trip um, back a while back. And she picked up this little birdhouse. It's from Hilton Head, South Carolina. And, and it's a little, it can be an ornament or... Um, you know, or just to hang around. And I thought it was really cute because she knows I love the beach and stuff. And this really matches the blue that's in my living room. And so she picked that up for me. And then she also gave me this little box right here. <laughs> and um, she just tucked a little bit of spitty money in there for me. And then she, um, I am jealous about this, I'm not going to lie. She got a Cricut maker for Christmas and, um, not so 
much for that. She is starting a business too. And she and I are probably going to collaborate on some projects together. But she's been making t-shirts and she's been doing etching stuff. And I know you can't see this. I'm trying to stick a piece of paper under it so that you might can see it. But she etched this for me. And it says, bless this food. And it's got little hearts down here. Maybe you can see it better from the back side. I don't know. But I, it was just lovely. And so I really appreciate that. Cause she knows that I cook a lot. And so, but she said it can be used to cook still. So she did this. And she's making me some t-shirts. And uh, with her Cricut maker. And she is going to be making signs and t-shirts and things like that to sell. So she and I may actually go into a little crafty business together. I hope. So that is that. Put this somewhere that doesn't get broke. Put that back over there. And then my other little uh, <coughs> uh, niece gave me a gift card to Dollar General. And um, so I'm probably going to spend this very soon. But then my other niece and my brother and my sister-in-law gave me something that was off my Amazon wish list that they didn't even know was on my Amazon wish list. But they ordered it from me. And it was a light ring. And I haven't even opened it yet, yet because she said once I took it out of the box it would probably never go back in there. So I thought I would do it with you guys. There's one part of it. And it's a light ring. And I'm so excited. I have wanted this for so long because you guys know, I've talked about it before. My lighting is terrible in here. And it has, um, you know, a bendable neck or whatever, adjustable neck. I will hold my phone. <clears throat> and I'm so excited about it. And it also comes with a $20. Um, it says you are randomly... Uh, selected as a lucky customer, just complete the following operations and you will get a $20 gift card. Leave your positive five-star product review. Send the review screenshot and order number of the following e to the following email. Um, and then our customer service will contact you within 24 hours and you will get a $20 gift card. So... Um, and I will be doing a product review on this soon. Um, anyway, but I have wanted one of these forever and ever to help with the lighting and stuff. And so it comes with, of course, all the directions of how to put it together. Um, it has Bluetooth, the LED light. Um, it has a USB plug, it has a little tripod that goes with it. So we're going to test all this out and I will do the, it's adjustable down here as well. So this screws into here like so. I should save this for, oh, sorry. I should save this for the product review, right? That's probably what I should do. So, let's do that. I'm going to do a product review of the Amazon Light. And then um, I'll let y'all know how it works. And so, I'll put that out shortly. Probably within the next day or two. Because i got to play with it first to see how it works. So that's what I got for Christmas. But you know what? The best gift that I got from Christmas was just the, the, the opportunity to spend with my family and my grandchildren. To express my love for them and theirs for me. And you know what? No, mon no amount of money can buy that. And that's truly family, close friends, and my relationship with the Lord are the best things that I have. That money can't buy. So if you have an opportunity. To spend time with loved ones. Do it. I know COVID is. Out there and still. And everybody is leery about being around other people. This that and other. But you know what. Um, don't be. 
afraid to live. Because when you be when you're when you're afraid to live, then you're missing out on so much life. And that's take precautions, wear a mask, protect yourself. But, you know, I'm going to be out there and I'm not going to be afraid to live my life because that's what people want us to do. They want us to be afraid to live our lives and depend on everything, you know, depend on everybody. Depend on your family, depend on God and depend on others as well because we're, we truly are all in this together. Some of us are in it in better positions than others. But no matter what our station in life is, we are all in this together. Because none of us can truly escape this pandemic. And just remember to love and to extend a hand when you can. Because... No matter how bad off you may be, there is someone out there worse. You know, the other, you know, the old saying, um, a man met a man without a pair of shoes. He thought he was worth bad off until he met another man with no feet. And that truly is true. I may be in a position that I can't help really anybody financially, but if I can give a word of encouragement, I will. If I can feed somebody a meal, I will. And if I can make somebody's life brighter just by saying, hello, I love you, then that's what I'm going to do. And I think that's what we should all remember and do. We remember it over the holidays. We tend we tend to be more charitable during the holidays and 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 that sort of thing. But what about when the holidays are over? What then? Do we simply put baby Jesus back in the manger, fold the box up, and put it up on the shelf and forget the whole reason that we celebrated the holidays? And if you want to know my thoughts on that, tune in tomorrow for my daily devotion. All right, guys, I am going to get off of here now. Um, I'm going to go fix my dinner and get ready for work. I have to be at work at, <laughs> oh, dark 30 in the morning. It will still be dark when I go to work at 630. So um, I have to go to bed early tonight. But I hope you will join me tomorrow for our daily devotion. I will have the video out of my um, Lego table. And I will see you all again soon. Please don't forget to let me know what you would like to see on my channel. What kind of crafting, what kind of things that you would like to see that you will watch. And I am behind on my watching videos. And I am trying to catch up desperately now. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm catching up with those who watch my videos first. And then I will catch up with the rest. Alright, God bless you. Please give this a thumbs up. So that YouTube will notice me a little bit too. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Alright guys, we'll see you later. Bye.